What's up comic fam, comic fans, and it's time for that new comic book day haul plus review. So we're gonna go through some of the books. We got 50 centers and we got books from this week and we're gonna get into all of them right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna start off with those 50 centers. So we got the 50 centers every week. I do these 50 centers. And they're, you know, in some kind of theme. So this one is like first appearances slash lots of team slash group people on the cover. So from Marvel, we have Empire, Fantastic Four, Zero in here. You have two, well, you have a couple of first appearances in this book, but you also have the first appearance of Mojo Jojo from the Powerpuff Girls. In a Marvel book, so you have some some Kree soldiers, child Kree and Scroll soldier first appearances in here, and uh, I think there's like one other cameo. Anyway, we're gonna move on to Avengers of the Wasteland number one. This is the first appearance of the Avengers of the Wasteland. All right, and then we have Avengers of the Wasteland number two, and we get the Avengers of the Wasteland Captain America in this one. All right, next up, we have Outlaw number one. All right, this is the first appearance of Cradle. What is it? Child, Hero, Reconnaissance, and Disruption in Law Enforcement? I don't know. I have a note around here somewhere that tells me what it is. Can't find it. <laughs> but this is actually a really cool Tony Daniel cover it's a wrap around that's why i picked this up these were all 50 cents by the way all these books all these books were 50 cents so yeah that's a really cool cool cover at least and lots of lots of heroes on this one all right and last but not least we have marvel point one this is from uh 2015 and this is the first appearance of blind spot was in a lot of the Charles Soule Daredevil, I believe. So, first appearance, Marvel Point One. Yeah, fifty cents. All right, guys. So those were the fifty cent books for this week. Now, let's get into the new books. First up, we have the Incredible Hulk number eleven. We got a guest artist on this one. Um, really good horror book if you're looking for a classic well not a classic because obviously it's modern but if you're looking for like a modern day horror book that kind of harkens back to the classic horror books this one might be the one for you all right you got frozen charlotte i think her name's frozen charlotte she's got the frozen crown named charlotte at least and you got the hulk battling it out boom 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 good book good book uh ultimate spider-man number one this is the fourth printing so we picked that up Big crowd favorite these days is Ultimate Spider-Man. Speaking of crowd favorites, and maybe not everybody's favorite, we have The Amazing Spider-Man, number 47, all right? You got Chasm, right? Ben Riley is back. Hollow's Eve is back. And uh, they're gonna start causing trouble for Spidey. And Betty Bryant's in this book, too, if you're a Betty Bryant fan. We have the West Coast Avengers, What If Marvel, um, cover B. There you go. And this is uh, celebrating 60 years of the Avengers. So you got the West Coast Avengers on this one. Pretty cool. Alright, next up we have the first appearance of Maystorm in Ultimate X-Men number 2 by Peach Momoko. Interesting book. You know, they're still getting into the nitty gritty, so this is issue 2. But we're finding out who the villains are in this book, and it looks like there's going to be an Ultimate X-Men team put together. So we'll see how that all comes together with the rest of the Ultimate Universe. Next up, we got Weapon X-Men number two. All right, so you have a Jean Grey Phoenix putting together a team of Wolverines from different different Earths, right? Or different dimensions, different universes. <laughs> um, and each one has their own special power. And in this one, we, you know, we find out a lot of the background story of a couple of the 
the Wolverines. And, you know, they also track down Onslaught to a location, kind of battle him. Onslaught sets a trap, but these guys figure it out. And stuff's happening. So the story progresses, if you will. Oh, and Wolverine gets to see what his kids would look like if he married Mariko. All right, last Marvel book. We have Star Wars, The High Republic, number six. So we're kind of getting a cross in this book. We're getting the first arc, or the first volume, sorry, of High Republic, and we're getting the second volume of High Republic. Characters from both those books are coming together in this third volume. So it looked like the third volume was going back to the characters from the first volume, but no, all the characters still sort of exist in some way. So, or existed in some way and they're all crossing at this point all right but you have the jedi trying to stop in the hill so they're you know trying to get into that that outer rim forbidden territory that the hill is shut down and uh all to save some jedi and also stop in the hill who are you know raising havoc not just for the republic but you know for for everybody all right we're going to the indie books up from image we have a new spawn universe book rat city there's like a little indica here that says new spawn you <laughs> but rat city places us in the future with the future spawn forget his name right now but you know the stuff spawn dud did in his present those waves echo into the future and this guy who was part of like a government hit squad um he gets these prosthetic legs due to an unfortunate incident and his legs are are imbued with hellspawn powers so that's rat city rat city is actually the name of the the city they live in right they take all you know the government and the and the rich take all the poor and downtrodden and buy them these not buy them but you know build these tenements if you will these projects put them all into these tight cramped spaces for low rent but you know those that model doesn't normally work so we get rat city all right here we go next up from image we have transformers number seven you got starscream just annihilating a cassette deck here i assume that's ravage but i'm not sure Soundwave is down here. Let me tell you, this is the exact opposite of what happens in this book, all right? Starscream gets his ass whooped. <laughs> but yeah, he gets his booty whooped. And uh, yeah, that's that. it's pretty much, this book is pretty much about the infighting between the Decepticons. We'll see if anything comes out of that. Next up, we have House of Slaughter number 22. The, the wheels have been set in motion to capture Jace Butcher. Not just to capture him, but to like kill him, annihilate him, just demolish him. Um, the plan fails miserably. And at what cost, though? Is somebody going to, to lose their life because of that? I don't know. Read House of Slaughter. Find out. <laughs> We're switching gears now. This is the last book, but we do have a DC book, and this is Superman Action Comics, all right? And Brainiac is on the attack. This is part one of the House of Brainiac series. This is going to cross between several Superman titles, okay? So Superman Action Comics will have some stuff. And then a lot of the other, you know, Superman, the, the regular, you know, self-titled proper book will also have part of this. And um, I'm trying to remember what other books. There are some crossover books, though. And I, I don't think all of them just exist in the Superman um, like universe, I think like Green Lantern will have a crossover to House of Brainiac, right? So there will be a, a lot of books that'll that'll um, have House of Brainiac crossovers, tie-ins into them. All right. This book is written by Joshua Williams Williamson, and he does a really good job. And um, yeah, Sandoval does really good art on this book. So uh, uh, Superman is really worth picking up. I think these days it's good. I know. I know, it's Superman. You can find Superman in the 50 cent dollar bins. Yeah, not the most popular, right? But Action Comics, number one, goes for millions of dollars, all right? So Superman is back. They have a lot of good creatives on this book, and it's a fun read, all right? That's all I got to say about that, Superman. So comic fam, comic fans, do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready 
for this week's books, all right? This was last week's. We're going to get ready for this week's books. If you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below. That was this week's haul and review. So I will see you later. Deuces. Peace. We have a guest artist on here, Nick Lowe. Not Nick Lowe. Oh. Bah, bah. Um, I picked up some ratio variants. We're gonna get it. All... Ah, crap. <laughs>